explain to everyone what we're well, doing here. Where we're at, what we're doing. Knox liquor store. Buying a uh, celebratory pallet. So today we finished up our 2020 corn crop. Yep. Epic. Figured we would uh, top that off with a uh, pallet of bush latte. <laughs> now this ain't no ordinary bush latte. These cans have the uh, the beloved corn on them, which just I mean, finished up corn crop. Might as well get bush light cans of corn on them, right? Special edition. Special edition. Not even gonna get them in Illinois, folks. So here we are. We're waiting on the guy to come out here with a forklift. Because, yep, that's that many beers. <laughs> 2,340 to be exact. Uh -oh. In case you guys can't notice, me and Travis are pretty excited about this. Keep switching sides at Travis. Oh, we're pacing back and forth. Look at this. Oh. 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 Holy cow, barely make it through the door. <laughs> Holy mackerel. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty, pretty case. Look at that. It's tears. It's tears, boys. It's tears of joy. Not every day you get to load this up and pick up truck. But hey, we just finished our corn crop, y'all. It's time to celebrate. <laughs> How many cases? 78 cases. <laughs> six tiers high. That's almost six stories. <laughs> anyway, safety. You always strap your load down. You don't want to be losing a load like this. Come on now. Precious safety. cargo. Safety, safety, safety. I'm pretty nervous right now. We got all the corn planted over here in Indiana. I have uh, the blade on behind me, and we are fixing to take the big home contractor across Cannonball Bridge. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, we're live. What's up? Uh, yeah, bring her over some. Send her back up.
I'm gonna have me one of them, one of them there too. When I'm I get your right, Tom. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's my right. He says, "Hell, I might have been skinning. Might have been skinning the red." Oh, mercy sakes! There's the edge. Oh, there's the other one. I do not like this one dang bit. Hold on a second. I don't like that. <laughs> That's why I told you shouldn't move to the right. <laughs> guys can't tell like I said 40 times so far in two minutes I do not like this one bit oh yeah or water uh oh man yep this stuff's for the birds I'm in bumper cars here, running back and forth. You just feel your tracks rub that bottom board down there. My gosh, I bet I bet I ain't got four inches on each side if that. This is crazy. Yeah, this is crazy. Like I said, I ain't even looked that blade back here. Of course, behind me, he says that everything looks good. I'm scared to take my eyes off the road up front here. I'll end up turning and running clean off the bridge. They'd be fishing me out of the wall bash. Oh, there's the other one. Damn. Get over here. Get over here. Stay over here. Whoa. Mercy sakes. Whoa. We're almost across, folks. Oh, I feel something, something going on. Can move to the right a little bit. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is fun. Now you can't see nothing out this thing. Here's what the middle, Travis. Well, no kidding. Start to ride the middle, don't worry about the track. Oh, I'm in the middle. I'm over it now. I'm coming off. <laughs> well, we made her across the biggest. Boss man says, I ah, just looked straight. Don't worry about the tracks. No kidding. We are shifting gear. Cross the Cannonball Bridge, baby. <laughs> Slow her down. You guys are crazy. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can see that blade, but I made a mistake and looked backwards. That was dumb. That was real dumb. Well, St. F. You don't have no rails left. No. This is my bad. This is, this is something else, so I gotta take the second one, half as long as the actual cannonball. We are. Mm -hmm. Heart's thumping. Mile minute. Oh, there's the edge. Holy cow, I don't like that. Found it. 
They got boards down on the bottom. I'm not hitting the rails. I just feel my tracks hit that board on the bottom. And it's a weird feeling. It's nothing fun. I'll show you that. Scurry. Scurry. We have done it! problem here this ditch does a lot of drainage for us our field tile runs into it runs on down the road I'm not sure if we got a beaver here or just keeps hanging up on these rocks one way or another we're gonna get to the bottom of it Whoa. should bring mud boots for this kind of thing water is always a problem in farming either you got too much of it or not enough we're always complaining about whichever one it is. Okay. We're not seeing any slides indicating the beaver, but I am by no means master tracker or trapper. I think I'd even be able to see a good slide though. I sure don't see one. the rocks I started moving a few big ones of this riprap and uh, 
Now the rest of it, I had this uh, four by four I'd washed in there with it. She's free flowing now, that's good because I'm about to go replant this little five acre spot with 06 row. This ditch needs to be drained so the tile works on that field for that to have any chance. So we do not want it held up. That's so how we had that wall, now it's uh, free flowing. There's a little bit there, trash right there. I'll probably knock it loose with this uh, four by four as well. Well, we made it back down the field. There is some corn through here, but as you can see, it's way too thin. Here's a big spot where there's nothing. Looks good all throughout there. This is just a real, this is just a real low hole. Drowns out a lot. Ditch gets out on it and it can't get out. It's gotta go through that riser. We didn't put this system in. We added to it, but uh, Oh, the main's kind of low in the ditch, so don't drain real fast, and it's flat, but uh, that's another story. So what you want to do, go through here and find it. See if they're just not coming up quite yet, they're just a little behind, or they're rotten. Look at that. Looks discolored. Has to try the sprout. Anyway, if you can crush it in your hand, she's rotten. I wish you could smell that because it's disgusting. Oh, well, we'll patch this hole, see what happens. There's a little six row. J.O. Harris. There are all kinds of little planters like this. If you need a little planter, that's a good place to get it because they got all kinds of stuff. is done 4.9 acres there on a 30 acre field that's a pretty big percentage compared to anywhere else I've done take a picture of it on my phone and then uh, then on the boss man that way we both have a record of it and we'll be able to keep track of it yeah, a little shower for the crops it's really looking good hopefully it won't amount to too much as you can see we We've had a little bit, the terrace has got some water in them. Don't take a whole lot to put a little water in them. It's coming down pretty good right now. Well, the water came down fast enough that the top terrace has ran over. The bank just wasn't quite high enough, so that'll be something we'll have to be taking care of this fall or next spring. Sometimes if it rains too fast, the holding area just isn't quite big enough. And that top one gets all the water off all the buildings on this side of the break, gets it off the shop there. And that can be a good little bit of water. It just didn't quite hold it. It's almost over, sky's lightening up. Good thing, we've had plenty. You can see the rain gauge got an inch and seven tenths out of that it came down pretty quick and it shows morning after the rain looks a little better huh way Need down the there we got water puddled quite a bit terraces are mostly empty though some down there in the 40. hopefully that'll be going by this evening mm -hmm. 